Top 10 Ways to Overcome Laziness Hi guys, this is Sean here and today I am going to talk about laziness and how I overcame laziness myself. When I was younger, in my early and late 20s, I was often lazy. Too often actually. And so I didn't, get my college work done in a good way and had to cram and stress out a few days before an exam. Working out or cooking healthy food just felt too hard and I gained 30 plus pounds of weight while my fitness levels went down. I knew I had to take care of my personal growth and dreams but mostly just let all that slide to someday as those things remain daydreams. 5 plus years later I still love lazying around and not doing much at all. But I've also learned how to keep that lazy time to a moderate and healthy amount instead of letting it hold me back and stuck in the same place of excuses for years like it used to. Now I am going to spill the beans on how I overcame my laziness and got my life back on track. But before we proceed, if you like this video then hit that like button so YouTube can show other people this video. If you are new to this channel and would love to get more such content then hit that subscribe button and click on the bell icon so that you get notified each time we post a new video. 10. Start with just a small step forward. The hardest thing is often to simply get started. So make that as easy as you can to reduce the inner resistance and to actually take action. Start with just taking a small step forward, do the dishes for 5 minutes. Write that proposal or report you've been procrastinating on for 10 minutes. Exercise for only 15 minutes. I use this habit almost every day in some way. I'm for example creating a new mobile game app and I have committed to completing just one game scene per day. Once I have finished all the scenes I will commit to editing one game scene per day. That's it. But it has never stopped me at only one game scene in these days, I have coded or edited a whole bunch more each day. Set a 10 minute alarm. If the above step is difficult for you to achieve follow this simple strategy, you should tell yourself you'll work on the dreaded task only for a short time period, and then you can stop. I set an alarm for 10 minutes and then see how much I can get done in that time. Usually, it gets me motivated to keep going after the timer goes off, but if it doesn't at least I did something. Meanwhile, psychologist and procrastination expert Timothy A. Peichel gave Psychology Today much the same advice. Essentially, you make a deal with yourself that even though you don't like doing the task, you do it anyway for 10 minutes. Once you're already involved, it's less tempting to quit. 8. To feel that you have earned your lazy time and you enjoy your time completely, without any guilt. It's important to actually get what truly matters in the long run done each week. So start your day with that. But make it easy on yourself by breaking down the task into smaller steps and then focus on just the first one. Get on it right away to get into an effective and focused mindset. By doing so you set a good vibe for your day. You get that quick 5 to 10 minute win first thing in the morning and you'll be a lot more motivated to keep going on that path during the rest of your day. Instead of starting with busy work like checking emails, this may be vital to do first thing for some but for many it's probably not, or checking social media etc and then 30 minutes later getting started with today's work. These small wins matter a lot for you to have a positive day and achieve big life goals. 7. Exercise I cannot stress this point enough. If you just put in half an hour to 45 minutes of exercise and schedule your productivity will hit another level. Once you get your blood pumping, you will realize that you feel wakeful and energetic instead of sleepy and lethargic. Indeed, research has found that young adults who reported being fatigued all the time felt more energetic and less tired when they exercised at a low or moderate intensity. Exercise releases chemicals in our brain that boost our productivity and make us feel more positive about ourselves. Once you are done with exercise it is very unlikely that you will feel the need to crash into your bed. 6. Cycle fully focused work with small breaks of rest time. To lighten up your daily work introduce small breaks between doing short but focused bursts of work. Say to yourself, I'll do 20 minutes of work on this task now and then I can take 5 or 10 minutes of lazy time. By breaking down your hours like this the work seems less daunting. And you'll feel energetic and motivated longer and do work of better quality if you allow yourself these pauses of rest and time to laze around with a game or with just relaxing on the grass or with short walk in the park. Then, after some time, you may want to work for 40 minutes before you take a 10 minute break. 
but go easy on yourself at first. And if you have trouble with sticking to your time limits then use an app on your phone or a simple egg timer from your kitchen. Before we reveal the top 5, if you are liking this video then please hit that like button so YouTube knows that you like it and that way it will show it to other people too. If you are new to this channel and would love to get more such content then hit that subscribe button and click on the bell icon so that you get notified. 5. Shut down the distraction temporarily. Just sitting down at your computer and trying to do fully focused work for 5 or 20 minutes may not result in any work of importance getting done. Not if you don't remove those things that you usually use to procrastinate. So ask yourself, where do I usually escape to instead of doing my work? I am myself a Facebook and Instagram addict. I tend to spend 3 to 4 hours just consuming content on these social media sites especially I love content created by Fast and Easy Math's Facebook page. They also have YouTube channel whose link you can find on the top right corner of this video or in the description below. In order to break my addiction I have uninstalled the Facebook and Instagram apps and consume content only in my free time or on my phone's browser. If you, have the same issue with gaming then put your controller far away in your home while working. Watch TV then pull out the cords to it. Or remove one of the cords completely and put it at the other end of your home. 4. Dress up. Here's a tip that's particularly useful for those who work remotely. If you can't find the energy to stop binging around on Twitter or TikTok, consider changing out of those comfy sweatpants. If you dress different, you will act different, say psychologists. Get together some outfits that you feel make you look really classy or whatever makes you sharp. Make it a special point in the morning to get fully dressed. Shoes and all, as if you were going out, even if you don't. As fashion psychologist Karen Pye told Forbes, when we put on an item of clothing it is common for the wearer to adopt the characteristics associated with that garment. A lot of clothing has symbolic meaning for us, whether it's professional work attire or relaxing weekend wear. So when we put it on we prime the brain to behave in ways consistent with that meaning. 3. List the pros and cons of leading a lazy lifestyle. Two sets of questions that I have sat down and asked myself with closed eyes and that have refueled my motivation many times are, 1. How will my life look in 5 years if I just continue to stay on the same path as now? 2. How will life likely become worse for me and maybe even for the people around me? This is not like beating yourself up but rather a sober examination of where it's realistic that you're heading. And it may be uncomfortable but try to see the negative consequences as vividly as you can in your mind to kickstart your motivation to get going for that positive change. Then ask yourself, 1. How will my life look in one year if I get started, stick with it and keep going with this change? 2. How will life improve not only for me but for the people that I love if I stick with it? Trust me these questions will reignite your motivations and help you to get out of the daily rut of laziness. 2. Unclutter your life. When your life's too cluttered and overwhelming then you may shut down and procrastinate by lying lazily on the couch and just watching the TV or your smartphone. When that's the case then start uncluttering both your work hours and your private time. Two questions that have helped me to do that and to find what is most important are, 1. What would I work on if I only had two hours for work today? 2. If I had just one hour of free time today then how would I spend it? Use these to get out of an old rut, to question your normal day a bit and to find your top priorities. Then see what you can eliminate, minimize or perhaps delegate of the things that are not contained in your answers. The fear of failure can hold you back in a state of doing easier things and in what you may see as being lazy. But everyone that go for what they truly want and outside of their comfort zone stumbles and fails from time to time. That's just a part of a life well lived, even if we don't hear about people's setbacks as often as their successes. See a setback as a learning experience and as a way to be more constructive and kinder to yourself. You can do that by asking yourself these two questions after you've stumbled. 1. What is one thing I can learn from this situation? 2. How would my best friend slash parents support me and help me in this situation? Then talk to yourself and do things like she or he would. So that's my top 10 ways to overcome laziness and breaking the cycle of laziness to enter realm of super productivity. I am Sean here signing off. Do like, share and comment if you liked the video and subscribe to our channel for more such content. Check out my video recommendation on the left on top 10 ways to earn money online.